Welcome to the basic search tutorial for America History and Life. In this tutorial, we will show you how to 1. Conduct a basic search, 2. Restrict your search using any number of limiters provided by the database, and 3. Locate items cited in your search. America History and Life is a database used to locate information related to Canadian and American history. To demonstrate how to find information in it, we will do a search on the role of Indians in the War of 1812. Begin by telling the database to locate any records where the terms Indians and War of 1812 occur. And then select Search. The database does the search and then presents us with 156 records. These records are ranked by their publication date with the most recent citations appearing first. This means that highly relevant items can occur anywhere in the list, so you will need to read more than the first few screens if you want to find all relevant information. These citations are displayed as brief records. Brief records typically include all of the information you will need to locate an item including the author, the article title, the name of the journal, the date of publication, the volume and issue number of the journal, and the page numbers for the article. Once you are in the brief records screen, you may wish to refine your search using any number of useful features provided by the database. For example, you can use the source types restrictors to limit your search to articles found in academic journals. When you do so, the database limits the search to articles in academic journals and displays 125 records. The Brief Record screen also enables you to narrow your results by subject. This option is useful as it enables you to identify a number of additional words that were not used in the initial search but are directly related to the topic, such as Indian Wars, Tecumseh, and the Creek Indians. You can either use these terms to narrow your results by the topic named, or use them in another search. The Brief Record screen also provides you with some additional limiters that are very useful. To see them all, click on the Search Options link, and you will find that you are able to limit your search by language, year of publication, or by historical era. As you go through the brief records listed in your initial search, you will often find a title that seems highly relevant to your topic. To learn more about it, simply arrow over the magnifying glass, and you will be given more information, including a short summary of the article, which is known as an abstract. You can also get more information by clicking on the title of any article you like. When you do so, you will be presented with the full record. These records typically contain a lot of information including a list of relevant subject headings that can be used to refine your search and an abstract. In addition, they also contain occasional links to external full text. In this instance, selecting the full text took us to the home page of a journal, and by selecting the title of the article, we are given the actual article. Upon reviewing the full record, you will often find an item you like and want to locate it. As America History and Life indexes articles and books and journals, as well as book reviews and dissertations, the first thing you will need to consider is what type of document you want. If you want an article, the Notes field may indicate that it is available electronically or that it is available locally in hardcover. These notes indicate that the article is in a journal owned by your library. To access it, check the library's journal list. It will tell you where to go to get them. Alternatively, you may find that your library does not own the journal an article is in. When this is the case, the database asks you if you want to place an interlibrary loan. 
By selecting it, you can tell your library to get the item from another library on your behalf. As for 1. Articles found in collected editions of books or 2. Dissertations You can check if your library has either by searching the book title or the dissertation title in the library catalog. Finally, if you are in a full record, you will notice that the database provides you with the ability to locate items that are similar to the document you like. You can do this by going to Similar Results, selecting a title you think might be relevant, and a citation for that item is displayed in a full record. Likewise, you can tell America History and Life to find more items like the one you have listed. When you do so, you are given a whole new record set. This ends the basic search portion of this tutorial. If you need any additional help, please feel free to contact the library.